This is Kirk Pump. Mm -hmm. Let's pump it up. <laughs> Sometimes we have to do what we've already done. Okay, today I am going to build a battery bank. And sometimes, what we've done deserves an upgrade. And I'm gonna turn it on. And all that means that we need to buy new stuff. And who doesn't love new stuff? After a sort of successful day of clearing yesterday, Kirk promptly realized he needed a riding mower. So while I was out this morning, he found one. So now we're on our way to go pick one up. It's about an hour and a half until we get there and then we can clear the land with the riding mower he was not going to fill up the weed whacker again and go inch by inch for three acres so this is kirk pumped show him your pumped face <laughs> that's it you saw it okay head it out
today I am going to build a battery bank that is uh, three times the size of the battery bank that I have now. So I purchased these as individual cells, uh, which would be inside of sort of the battery that I have now. But I ordered 16 of them, three and a half volts. And I'm gonna put them all together right now and top balance them like I did my previous battery set. Uh, but it's gonna take a lot longer because there's three times uh, the energy density. So these ones are 300 amp hours. And because they're just individual cells, I'll have to integrate a separate battery management system. So the batteries that I previously bought, each one has its own battery management. Uh, electronics inside and what I'll be doing is customizing a completely custom battery management system with this project. But first step is to top balance them so that they're all equal which minimizes the amount of work the battery management system has to do and maximizes the, the depth of discharge so how much uh, energy you get out of the battery because if one cell is low its voltage is low then the battery management will kick on while you have a bunch of other cells that still have plenty of energy in them and you won't get full capacity out of the battery. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna top balance 16 lithium iron phosphate cells. First step, I need to unbox all four of those for eight cells and all four of these for the other eight cells, which makes 16 cells. All right, so what came in each box was two bus bars. These connect the two batteries together. So that's how you connect them in series or parallel. And these are little insulators that go in between because the outside of this is charged. And so you don't want uh, these things chafing and then shorting together like this. So this is insulation like uh, a wire has sort of a rubber coating on it and you can see that these batteries actually swell um, when they're charged this battery chemistry you can see a small gap here and a large gap here because of the swelling of this battery so they actually expand and contract as they charge and discharge and that chafing can cause the two surfaces to, to short together and that's bad. So that's what this little sheet here does is provides additional insulation. So I'm going to put them all in parallel and hook the charger up. So once these are done top balancing, I'm going to put them in a compression jig. So that jig is going to be roughly 46 and 3 eighths of an inch. Once I compress them, they'll probably compress down to about 46 inches. All right, in this step, I'm gonna connect the bus bars like this and basically put all of these in parallel. So like this and so on and so forth on both sides and put the nuts on. Unfortunately, I have 16 bus bars and I thought I ordered 16 others, but I only got four, so I'm not gonna be able to top balance the whole cell all at one time. So I'm gonna do as many as possible, then do the other ones, and when the next bus bars come in, I'll put them all on together and top balance them exactly. All 
so right there I just put all the bus bars together and this is where I'm going to charge negative and positive this little baby power supply that's going to take a couple days. Okay, so I just set the charger uh, to 3.6 volts, uh, which would be the top balance, and I'm gonna turn it on. And the load is dragging it down to 3.3, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the amperage up. And we're gonna get, looks like five amps out of it. top balance. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us on Patreon. <laughs> Thanks for coming to help, Mom. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> There's stickers in my hair. And you want to come up here how often? Gotta get the stickers out. Beautiful oh, The view is much more beautiful. So, not funny story. After my disaster trying to do laundry and flooding the kitchen, I mean, flooding the laundry room. I tried to run the dishwasher today for the first time, pretty much since we got it. There's another leak. Kirk's really pleased with me, and maybe he's going to ban me from doing any house chores. The riding mower is stuck over there. The tie rod in, the steering linkage uh, broke. The starter gear is now gone.